Global Mobiles. How's it going there, YouTube Nation? So, beyond the fact that Google got their Google Wallets FDIC insured, it seems that now they're going into the somewhat mobile market. Now, really, this is not their intention to actually get into the mobile market. They explained that mostly they're looking for... Uh, other carriers to get more competitive when it comes to this but it seems that Google has actually started a mobile project where if you have the now Nexus 6, 6 you can actually obtain uh, what is called a Google pay by use so what goes on is that you are able to piggyback from mobile service carriers like T-Mobile and Sprint on your Nexus 6, 6 so you can actually use it to make phone calls uh, watch YouTube and stuff like that and if you guys really want to know if you're really covered and you have the phone go ahead and click the link down below and you should get like a mobile coverage map and it should give you a broad detail on what's really going on and as well uh, you know what areas are covered and what you can do to actually save so what goes on is that you actually get to pay by use meaning that whatever mobile data usage you use within the month that's as much as you pay you don't actually uh, pay anything else other than what you use I guess I don't know but again you know this is pretty cool and this is seems like a great kind of move for Google because yes it does mean that uh, we're gonna be seeing more of voice over IP because what they're really doing is that they're actually piggyback writing from all their mobile carriers and they're using this feature that the Nexus 6 has that basically acts like if it was doing a Wi-Fi calling so that more sounds like you know their their intentions are more into voice over IP and this is great because once Google Fiber is actually implemented in every city I hope so pretty soon I hope in New York City yay crossing fingers hopefully we get to have some Google Fiber and and if anything we're gonna be seeing Google not only get off Sprint and T-Mobile but actually be piggyback riding on their own network which is pretty awesome I mean it seems like a great idea and what not better way to uh, test this out test out the service than to be getting with Sprint and T-Mobile which are the second and third largest carriers to actually be pushing out uh, good internet speeds when it comes to that it seems like I guess the less people that are on it the better it is and since T-Mobile and Sprint don't really have many uh, customers as far as Verizon and AT&T that's less congestion when it comes to how it, are people gonna be uh, who, like you know I, like if for instance since I'm a Sprint customer how is that going to affect me when it comes to when if I want to use my mobile data network will the Google Wi-Fi project uh, obscure me from actually getting the best data you know connection I get you know so it all depends but since there's not really much a lot of people on the networks then yes this would this project would actually be a great lift off for Google to test out and whether or not once Google Fiber is implemented they can go ahead and say thank you guys for your time and services there goes the lump sum of cash that we promised you now I guess we can go do our our ways into our market so yes this is pretty awesome I can't really see this not taking off and hopefully like I said Google Fiber gets implemented everywhere where we can actually have better internet and better quality of service when it comes to mobile uh, data usage and you know over rates and the surcharges I mean yeah it's better that we get to pay for what we use when it comes to mobile network and data usage and all this voice so again all these articles is going to be down below especially on how you can actually participate in the project or if not if like I said if you have the phone to see whether or not you are covered in the area that you're at so again this is pretty much great news and as well check out the videos on the past where you guys can actually take a look at um, 
how I talk about the FDIC insurance that your Google Wallet has and all this other stuff about their antitrust lawsuits that are going on right now. So do take a look at all this stuff. Click on the cards in the drop down should actually let you know what's going on. So again, thank you guys all for watching. I do thank you for your time. And as always, catch me on Twitch where I'm live playing Grand Theft Auto 5. And as always, thanks again.